Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this 3D looking pyramid and asked how to draw it. I drew it, it's not exactly the same, but if I had to do it over again, I could make it look a little, well, one, the top is smaller and it's a little bit different, but this is pretty easy. I am going to use the polygon tool and I'm just gonna draw out a shape, not holding down the control button, so I've got a four-sided polygon. And you can see by, that looks like a square turned at a 90 degree angle, but that looks like it's not. So you get kind of a 3D looking shape. And then I'm gonna take the two point line and I'm gonna go right through that intersection and go up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go from that node to that node. Then I'm gonna go from that node to that node. So that is a, kind of looks like a pyramid. Now, several ways you could do it, but we've actually got different parts here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how big this thing is. It's less than six. I'm gonna set my nudge factor on six. I'm gonna get my smart fill tool. I'm gonna to fill that in, move it over, fill that in and move it over. And what that did, that sealed up all my joints and I've still got two separate lines. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to black. Now on this one, I equally proportioned the line, so we need one, two, three, four lines. Uh, this time I'm not gonna equal proportion, but I need to keep them on that same plane, so I'm gonna draw a line from there to there. And then I'm just gonna move it up. And then I'm gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it up. Plus key on the keyboard, move it up. And you could do this with the blend tool, but I'm trying to do it another way. And matter of fact, let's do that with the blend tool because that way these four pieces will be equal. Hold down the shift key and select both lines. Go to effects and blend and just blend two times because we've already got two. That way they're kind of proportionate. It. And then you don't really have to do this now, but you can go ahead and delete that delete those, well, there's a good lesson. You have to go to break the blend apart for this to work. Then let's group these four. I accidentally got rid of my bottom of my line right there, so I'm gonna back up. So I need to break the blend apart. I just got too close to that last line. Now I'm gonna grab these three, four, four line, Control D and make a duplicate and mirror them. And then I'm gonna grab a four point and see they're too long, but it doesn't really matter because we're not really gonna use them, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim them. Just make it look a little bit better. Kind of understand what we're doing. Now, it's a little bit different. Uh, it doesn't get to go straight up the scale these lines kind of go inward. So we're gonna take a two point line and we're gonna go in just a little bit on our drawing. We're gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard. I must not have done that. Control D then, and then mirror that line. It should work right over here. So we'll grab that four point and put it right on that corner. And it did. We can go ahead and Control D again, and then move this one up here. So they'll be kind of equal. And then that way, since we blended it, the spaces are the same. We'll Control D again and mirror it. Grab that, probably that, well, the bottom part would be easier. Grab that bottom with the four point cross, wait for it goes to the node. Now, the second one is black, the one we're gonna take and fill in, so we're gonna get our Smart Fill tools set on black. And we're gonna fill that in with black, that in with black, that in with that black. And then from here, uh, there's a little bit of a shading. I'm gonna actually use these colors off the original. So with the um, eyedropper tool, I'm gonna to take a sample of that and pour it in and see what happened. It, it's not 
working. So I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool first, fill that in and move it up. Whoop. Fill that in and move it up. Fill that in. I'm just moving up. And what that's doing, it's creating a, a um, box for us. So now we can take our eyedropper tool. We'll grab this, put it in there, put it, put it in there, put it in there. Go back to the pick tool so we can get a change the eyedropper color. Go here. And if you see I'm getting a square box versus the outline box, that's going to put an outline around it. We're going to take the outline away so it doesn't really matter. And then all you have to do is nudge these back down. Right click your mouse to take away the outline. I like the way it looks. It looks a lot better. I'm going to nudge it over. Now, the shading doesn't matter, but the black's going to have a line between it. So what we could do at this time is grab that black, hold down the shift, grab black, black, go to combine or control L, and it took away that line. I don't use combine that much, so I don't really know the shortcut. And then it's always going to look better if we put a green backing on it like the other drawing had, order back a page. And I would have to say that's pretty close, if not dead on. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.